I'm about to create my Buddha look. Some people may call it the pineapple wave or the popcorn wave, depends on who you are and where you're from. Uh, a lot of people used to do it back in the 70s. It's an old uh, GQ look, I call it. I have my little side part going and I'm combing my hair in the direction I want my waves to fall. You're going to need some black gel, the extra hold. I always use the black gel, not the pink gel, not the yellow gels or the light colors because they are watered down. I use Pump It Up Super Hold. As you can see, it doesn't matter which Pump It Up that I use, but um, I make sure that it's Pump It Up. I'm also going to need use a rat tail comb and a triangle net. Now, it has to be a triangle net, not the round nets that they wear in the restaurants, but a triangle net because you'll see when I get started and I'm also going to use this mirror to get the back. I've already combed my hair in the desired style that I'm looking for and I'm going to apply the gel now in that same direction. Whatever direction you comb your hair you want to make sure that you lay the gel that same way and it's very important that you do and you remember now here I'm putting the gel up under so it can get all the way the way I like it. I'm not putting the gel on the sides or in the back because I'm debating on should I cut my hair a little shorter or not. The combing process, you want to comb it in that desired pattern that you're looking for. Rather, if you have a part in your hair like I do, you want to comb and remember the direction that you comb it and taking your other hand smoothing it out as you go you want to make sure that your hair is very thick um, not so conditioned to where it's um, what do you call it water solid soluble or whatever but uh i just finished washing my hair with soap and no conditioner on it the reason being because i like the thickness and it makes the pineapple waves stand up and form and not fall a lot of people like to over condition their hair and now it's so conditioned to where it when you try to put the pineapple wave in it it won't stand it, it'll just fall so you want to make sure that you don't over condition your hair when you do and um, take that comb and slide it slide it take your hand follow the comb Press down on the end so they can be all the way down tapered to the head. You want to make sure because um, once you go to pulling the pineapple waves up, uh, that has a tendency to come up. So you want to make sure that that is tapered to the head. Everything is flat. If you got to take your hand and push it on down in there, push it on down. It's no problem. Just make sure you don't have any hair sticking up because it'll show in the wave once it's done. Here I'm washing my hands free of all the gel so that when I handle the comb, it won't be sliding and slipping out of my hand. So you got to make sure that you wash your hands very thoroughly so you can get a nice firm grip on the comb. That's very important. To me at least now here's where i put the net on i put it with the triangle towards my face and then i tie it in the knot with the two you know ends of it you don't want to tie it too tight where it's uh giving you a headache and you want to tie it in two knots to hold it still and in place and then i take and i Pull the net to open up the holes where I can see, you know, and have room to go up in there with the pineapple waves. You can also tuck it. I do a lot of tucking in the front to because it's kind of bunched up there. So I pull it down and tuck it in where it needs to be tucked. Then you take this to get it up out of your face, roll it and tie it up in a circle, you know, and hook it that's what I call hooking it 
Now I spread the net with my hand to make sure that it's real flat and down to my head. And now I began. You want to go down into the hair and pull up. What I do, I kind of go point the comb a little backwards where I can uh, pull up more thickness, more hair from the bottom um, row. So I don't just pull straight up. I pull and I slant the comb, as you can see, towards the part, if you will. Now, when you're doing it in the front, you're only going to be able to see so far. You're not going to be able to see the back of the head. So I do it all the way to the end of the part. I'll get the back in a few. But in the meantime, you want to just go around the part. It's basically going to tell you where to go. So you're really not going to have it. All you do is go up under each. But you don't want to go straight down. You want to go straight across, you know. Go down that part, like you're walking down the part, just go straight across, not down. You, you, or else when you go down and you go on the side of to the next pineapple wave that you're going to pull up, if you went down, it'll pull the one that's beneath that up. So you don't want to go down when you're doing the pineapple waves. You want to go straight across if you can understand what I'm saying. And this is for those with the parts. Now, if you don't have a part in your head, and let's say you, you have it going all straight back. If you have it going straight back, then you want to start at the front and go straight across from like ear to ear. And you would take that and just keep going back from ear to ear, all the way behind it. and But never going back because, like I said, you will pull it up. So keep that in mind and that's very important when you're doing the pineapple ways is you go across and not down you don't want to mess it up and start have to start all back over and as you can see i'm also taking my finger and holding down the the hair that's beneath it so that i won't pull too much and pull the hair out of the holes which um, if you do there's no problem you just tuck it back in and keep it moving but with my finger being up under the next hole I don't have to worry about pulling too much I can basically control it better okay now if I have to open up the net a little more I make sure I do so. I'm going, doing the whole, not the whole front. Remind you, I have a fade cut or a bowl haircut. Um, so I wouldn't be going straight across all the way down because I don't have no hair on the sides. I would just be going like, do as much as I could in the front. And then I would do the top with the mirror you know, I can see in the back. My apologies, the camera stopped and I recorded it, but when I was uploading it to the movie maker, it wouldn't upload me doing the back. Now I take and I spritz the hair, spritz it real good. I don't wanna do too much spritz cause you don't wanna make it uh, white and flaky which I don't have to worry about that with the pump it up and that's why I use the pump it up so it won't be flaky and at this point I put on a mask and now spritz the hair and spritz it real good and I don't have to worry about it flaking up that's why I use the pump it up I don't have to worry about the little white flakes after it dry and now to take off the mask after it done dried for a good uh, with my hair, with the length of my hair, I do like 20 minutes of uh, blow drying. Now, if you're sitting up under a dryer, I still would suggest 20 minutes. Um, if your hair is medium length, I would probably suggest a little 15 minutes longer. And if you have long hair and thick hair, I would probably suggest 45 minutes. Because you want to make sure that it's dry all the way to the bottom. So when you do pull the net up, you want to make sure that you open the net up wide. And then just pull it off from the front 
all the way to the back. And then you will have your Buddha pineapple popcorn wave, whichever one you want to call it. And um, you can start tapering up, doing your little electives, what I call them, and shaving up to give yourself that nice little edge. Uh, my hair has a little where it's missing some hair back there, so I make sure that I uh, go up but not too far up where it's missing, but I edge it very easy. When you take your little mirror, you don't need a hairstylist to do this. It, this is very simple, very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. I don't do nothing that's hard. And this is about one of the easiest hairdos I've ever done to myself. Um, don't like sitting around people so going to a salon just isn't me never was me so i had to learn how to do my own hair and um i've been doing this signature look for many many years i would say ever since i was about 13 years old back in the 90s the early 90s i say about 91 92 and uh, so you know how old I am. Yeah, I'm almost 50 years old. I'm almost there. I've lived a long time. And don't have many gray hairs, but I'm waiting on them. I'm waiting on them. And I'm going to wear my gray hairs with love. And uh, there you have it. The pineapple. Buddha popcorn wave <laughs> if you like my videos you already know what to do i know you're probably tired of hearing people say subscribe like share whatever but um i'll be coming out with more videos and um hope you like them here's my look the buddha wave Catch the fool by the rule. If he buck one time, then lay the school. Don't think you're free to no degree. Black, white, Spanish, yes, even me. Put down your tools for a moment of cool. Erase what you learned and your mind's renewed. Play by the spell when he taught you well. Teach up, preach up, send them back to hell. They govern the soul that mind control. Broke back mountain, silver, silver, and gold. Diamonds are free when they come from me. Fabricated identity. They took your soul with gun control. First name, last name, all capital. Master controls, I don't wanna know. Trapped in the game political Yeah I don't want no diamonds American dream keep lying <laughs> I don't want no diamonds American dream keep lying